Hello guys, uh, welcome to another video. So today video is more into a general general topic uh, because I also get a couple of queries related to the onboarding process of companies like MNCs, DCS, and Forces and other process and also how the interview process goes on. So I'll share my experience and also you can relate it with yours or you can also take feedback from Glassdoor and other things. But what I'm sharing, this is totally my personal view and my personal opinion, whatever things I have captivated in this entire, entire you know, slides. So this will give in perspective whether if you're attending an interview for DXE. So I'm going to cover one company every week. So I'm just to give you some information there so that you can get an idea when you are going for an interview. So in the first step, we are going to discuss on the interview process and then we'll discuss on the onboarding process of DXE. So in this entire session, I'm going to discuss a little bit about how you're going to apply for the role in DXE. I'll give some company overview and what kind of role they are hiring right now in SAP space and non SAP space. You can please check their website and career section. So I don't have much idea on that. Next is the interview rounds. I'll guide you on what are the interview rounds and what are the hierarchy they are having and which role you can be find yourself is suitable. Then the salary discussion, I'll give some numbers based on the experiences and what's the current market trend DX is following and how much they are paying uh, based on the experiences and also, of course, you know, in terms of the designation. Then you are having the pre onboarding process. So I'll discuss more on the pre onboarding process, how, you know, like what are the documents required and how to uh, ensure that your documents are intact and what are the important uh, you know, documents you need to get it from your previous employer in order to start the pre-onboarding process. And then next thing is we are going to discuss about the background verification. Very important for DXE. If you're joining DXE, they follow a strict background verification process. Any document is not matching, they'll be rejected. So in short, I'll give, I will give a guide on how you're going to do that and how you're going to upload your documents and how you're going to ensure that your BGB is successful. <clears throat> and uh, last but not the least, we are going to discuss on the day of onboarding. So how are you going to, you know, go with the onboarding process and how are you going to ensure that, uh, you know, you are right there with all the documents will your and what are the checklist you need to make before you join for the onboarding. And also I'll, diff I'll, I'll discuss a little bit about the work culture. The first thing is the how you're going to apply for the role. So primarily the most of the uh, you know jobs when you apply in DXC, the career section is active, of course, but if you apply there, your profile will not be shortlisted. So the very first thing you need to identify employee referral. Either you can reach out to the recruiter of DXC in LinkedIn, or you can just try to see any opportunity in Nokri. But LinkedIn is the primary source. Second thing, you can also go with the employee referral. If you know somebody who is good enough, who can refer you. You can also go with that, but direct applying, if you're directly applying in Nokri or you're applying in the website, the chances are mild that you're going to get the call. Okay, and in that case, you can just uh, see whichever option you have and based on that, you can apply. So interview rounds, before I go with interview rounds, so DXC follows the certain hierarchy. The first thing what they hire is associative professional, then professional one, you know, so then with their professional too, so like this. But if you see in terms of your DXC, you know, like hierarchy, so you need to identify that in which level you are lying. So first thing is L2, L3, L4, L5. Then there are different different band you are having. So band eight, you'll be having a manager role and all. So L5 you have been offered. So then you will be like associate manager. L6 is the manager. So you need to see which hierarchy you are applying for. So ensure based on the experience range, you are applying for the right role. Do not apply for the junior roles. The first thing is profile shortlisting. So second thing would be the technical round, which will be taken uh, you know, okay, by somebody who is of your experience or maybe a little higher experience than you. Next round would be by the hiring manager. It will be a technical round. It will be a possibly a case study because I'm part of SAP basis, so I gave an interview for SAP basis. So uh, whatever the questions they asked me, it was pretty high standard and more into your architectural overview design. Depends on the role you are applying, of course, but this will be again a technical wrong. 
Round three would be the HR discussion where HR will be asking the basic questions and then the numbers, and then they will be releasing the offer if the HR round goes well and the documents which you shared is working as it is. If the documents are correct, so the total duration of the interview process is two to three weeks. DX is pretty first in rolling out the offer, so they don't take more than that time. So in case you are not receiving any response, it means you are not shortlisted. Salary discussion. So what's the current trend that DX is following? So you can expect, uh, I think I've written in bit, uh, you know, bit high numbers, of course, because just to motivate you guys, but 30 to 50 percent, you can still ask if you are in a middle level of experience. But if you are somebody who is a manager or who is in a senior roles, so this number looks little impossible. But still, you can try your best. DX is pretty, you know, like they are pretty open minded and to give the high and all. Just that it should be the right resource for them. And their process is really good, pretty streamlined. I love the process and what are the salary they are offering? Uh, you know, it's a very good thing. You know, like they are giving minimum 30 to 50 percent. So it's up to you whether you join or not, but you can get a good offer. Next thing is the, the work from opportunity, work from home, which is completely remote. So the base part of DX is only company, only MNC who offers the complete remote work culture. So you can work from home. You don't need to go to office irrespective of your base location. Next thing is the joining bonus. So joining bonus would be one to four lakhs depends on how early you can join. So if you can join early, then they can give you four lakhs also. If you are taking three months of time, so then they can add one lakh or two lakhs. You can ask accordingly. Health insurance is the base what DX is offering. Ten lakhs of health insurance. At least I have not seen any company which is offering that. That to be a hundred percent. There is no copay in that. So ten lakhs is so or you can say is a quite good insurance amount. If you compare with MNCs like, uh, you know, Infosys, TCS, so this is much better. Offer release time after your HR round discussion, three to five working days, which is again the quickest time I've ever seen. Infosys, TCS, that takes a lot of time. I think you keep on chasing them and also the salary, what they are offering as compared to DX is also quite less. Then the offer acceptance in the workday, DXC uses workday. So you need to e-sign your offer later, first thing. Then there is an India code of conduct, you need to accept it. Next is the personal information update, you need to update your date of birth. And also you need to update your Aadhaar card information there. Then marital status, whether you are married, unmarried, you need to put your date of marriage as well. And other details like your gender, place of birth and citizen nationality, these are really important. And show these all the sections are filled once you accept the offer letter. Then only the next process will be beginning. Uh, it will be initiated from DXP point of view. So after you accept the offer, you will be getting an email from DXC Connect. So in the DXC Connect, you need to create an account. And there are some pre onboarding formalities. So pre onboarding formalities are like you're going to get an email like this. And once you get this email, so just they will be putting uh, some guide to you. So if you need this guide, you can reach out. You can drop your email ID in the comment section. I'll say that to you. And you need to create an account in DXC Connect because all the point of contact should be through the DXC Connect. There is no manual work. You need to upload your documents in DXC Connect and HR operation thing will validate. And once you complete one, I'll share the checklist a little later in the subsequent slides. But once you do that, once the soft copies are approved, you have to take a printout of all the hard copy and you need to take, uh, you know, prepare the hard copy and then you need to send it to the DXC address. This is a mandatory thing and ensure you have to complete this at least a week before of your joining date. Otherwise, your joining will be delayed. So what are the joining documents required? So you need to sign off a letter each page that is important and that to be signed off a letter, not the offer letter, which is not verified. Next thing, there is a joining form. Joining form contains uh, close to 20 pages. You need to fill up each and every pages. And uh, that's very important. If you even miss out a single piece or single entry, then they will reject it. Again, you need to update the you know document. So that's the reason you have to ensure you have the joining form. Then the resignation acceptance. Suppose you have resigned from a company, you need to accept, uh, provide the evidence for the last day, last working day, so that HR will be taking care of that. If you don't have the 
uh, you know, the resignation acceptance later, you can just show the email from your HR where it has been accepted and your last working day is there. Next, the PAN card and other card, that's very important. Ensure your other card, all the details are correct and it must be downloaded recently. It's just not that downloaded long back. They can validate each and everything and ensure you follow the right process. Then one passport size photograph, then uh, photocopy of highest education certificate. If you have done BTEC or any graduation, you have to update it. And ESIC template, this is only for the people who are income, whose income is less than 2.8 PA. You can consider if you're a fresher, then this is required. Or if uh, you know if you are not a fresher, you are having experience and your salary is more than 2.8 lakhs, then these eight and nine is not required. So of course, you know, if you're an experienced resources, then you may not be, you know, like required to give these two things. So these are the guide for the form, you know, filling the form. If you need any of this guide, you can just drop your email in the comment section. I'll try to help you. And this will definitely guide you to do the onboarding without any issue. Then you will be part of the DXC inner circle. So once you are part of the DXC inner circle, you will be getting this email and there will be one person who is going to assign and so that you can be in touch with a team member and they will be helping you for the entire process, which is again a very good initiative by DXC. So whenever you are joining, before you join, you will be getting this email. And once your background verification will be initiated, you'll be getting an email like this, your onboarding process and your background verification will be done. So first advantage or Authbridge. So these are the two company who does the background verification for DXE and you will be getting an email either from your first advantage or you will be getting the email from Authbridge. So when I, you know, like submitted the documents, I got the email from Authbridge. So you need to use Authbridge. If you are getting email from first advantage, it's up to you. Okay, so all the documents has to be submitted so, so that the background verification can be initiated. Without background verification, you will not be able to join DXE. Then the background verification email from Authobridge. So once you get the email, there is a, this is an urgent reminder to complete the pending submission. So you need to update the documents. They'll be giving the credentials and the URL using this unit to update all the records like your last seven years residence details, wherever you stay, you have to furnish all the details minutely. Anything not there, so there's a chance it will be rejected. And other documents like your education background, your salary sleep, your company address, experience letter, everything to update there so that they can validate it with the employee ID as well. Then the BGB submission email. So once you submit all the documents in the Authbridge portal, so you will be getting an email. Greetings from Authbridge. This is to acknowledge that your successfully submission of employee background verification form, and this is. Uh, the background verification has been initiated and the HR team of DXE has access to track the progress. They can track it and if anything is required, they'll reach out to you. So once your BGP is successful, you'll be getting an email. Okay, this has been successful and requesting organization, all these things you can see here. So all your details you are going to see in the email. So this means your background verification is successful and you are one step ahead for your joining process. Then this is the final onboarding day. So you will be receiving the email just a day before around evening 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Suppose today you are tomorrow you are joining. So today night, today evening you are going to get the email and you will be getting a Teams invite so that you can join there. Before you join, you should have your resignation acceptance later, last working day proof. Without that, they won't onboard you if you don't have this document. Ensure you have this documents handy with you. So once you join it, then um, you will be providing all the documents and that will take three hours entirely and you will be onboarded and parallelly you are going to receive your laptop and you can start working. My experience with DXC was amazing uh, from the beginning till end. It was a good experience, though I didn't join because of whatsoever reason, but the process of interview was really smooth. People were pretty uh, you know, like they were pretty optimized. They are streamlined. They reach out to you every phase of interview process and they guide you in the right way. At least if you consider other MNCs, I find DXE better in terms of your, uh, you know, recruiting process. So that's the reason if you're looking for 
opportunities and remote work and also with good salary. I won't say it's the excellent salary, but considerably from other MNCs, it is a good what they are offering is they offer a decent salary and where you can also learn a lot of things because they have also a lot of SAP specific projects for non SAP. I don't know for SAP related things. DX is a lot of rice projects and all you can go ahead and do your contribution. So as I said, two, three things you need to be very careful. First thing you need to ensure that you're applying for the right role. Understand your designation, understand your work, ask for the right salary, ask for the joining bonus, complete your onboarding, pre onboarding process and background verification process on time and then you can join. I understand there are a lot of negative reviews in Glassdoor, but if you ask my personal experience, it was amazing. So it's your, at the end of the day, it's your call, but I just wanted to show you all the information what it takes to join DXE. I hope you enjoy the video. If you enjoyed it, do like, share and subscribe and do not forget to subscribe ODI Engineer. We are also bringing a lot of other videos specific to your onboarding and joining experience or the interview process of other MNCs. Uh, so or also the small companies will be get to see those things in coming future. So ensure you subscribe and share it to your friends who are looking for applying for the jobs in DXE or who are looking for information in DXE. That's all for now. Have a great day.